And welcome to your gold market update today for the 25th of May 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst, Gold Markets here. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Overnight, we had a mixed session on Wall Street. The Dow closed slightly positive and there was significant selling in tech. So the Nasdaq was the dramatic underperformer. Some are suggesting it was a little bit of a seller shakeout, but obviously too early to tell whether that's the case or whether it's just wishful thinking on the part of some market participants. US futures, however, are positive, but the market still is uncertain about the sustainability of any upside move. And that's going to be the order of the day, I think, for this week. We may see slight moves up, but those moves may be very fragile. Asian indices are choppy, but generally positive this morning and trading towards the highs of the session. There's only the Nikkei in negative territory at the moment. ASX is up around 0.7%. So quite a nice pop from where we were at open. And European futures are pointing also to a higher open this afternoon. The US dollar index continues to fall. We're now below monthly lows and gold popped up a little bit to around about 1860. So happily above that 1850 for now. And we're seeing oil push up against resistance around 115 a barrel on the Brent CFD contract. Copper paused overnight and VIX is still steady around that 28 level just reinforcing the fact that markets are still very twitchy. Bitcoin is choppy, but looks settled for now in between that 28,000 to 30,000 range, slightly towards the top of the range, but really has failed to break through that over the last few weeks. So we're not holding our breath on that one. At this stage, on the data front, we saw the Reserve Bank of New Zealand raise rates as expected up to 2%. We saw a slight pop in the Kiwi, and we'll have a look at a chart in a moment. And later on today, we've got German GDP, US durable goods and FOMC minutes from last time the Fed met to discuss interest rates. So those will be picked apart syllable by syllable. Those are the key data points today, still a medium to high risk market. Uh, let's have a look at a couple of charts. Have a look at the Euro Kiwi and we'll put it on the four hourly chart just so you can see context here a little bit. And you can see there we've essentially been trading within a range uh, between 16588 and 16658 for the last week and we've smashed through that this morning the next potential level on this of interest would probably be around about that 16465 so around about another 35 pips below that but the more significant level if we keep on seeing selling into the euro would be that 164 level that you can see there uh, if we look at the 30 minute chart you can see this in all its glory so one to watch if this trend continues on the ASX, we spotted a new hope call, which is in the healthcare sector, ticker code NHO. Uh, looks as though we're getting a breakout trade on this. We've been watching this for a few days. We could have suggested that that high there would be interesting at 398, but we like round numbers, as does the market. And so the fact that we're pushing above $4 today seems to be quite bullish in terms of sentiment and one to watch going forward. Maybe a bit of money coming into healthcare across the board. It's been a little bit of a laggard of late, so it may be its turn to have a little run up. One to watch again. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.